Hey guys, I am Big and Scary. I'm bringing you another StarCraft 2 replay, this time featuring in the top right corner FV Aroused. FV standing for Fat Virgin, of course. Aroused just fits perfectly with the clan name. I love it. It's phenomenal. He is in uh, Silver League, I believe, and we are on Condemned Ridge. His opponent is Dark Matter. Our Red Zerg, he is also in Silver, and I believe this is a ladder match. I'm, you can't hold me to it. But I, I think it's a ladder match. I loved Kingdom Ridge. It's one of the newer maps. It's phenomenal. You've got this really cool uh, wide ramp leading up to the common ground. And the common ground is, uh, is, is high ground overlooking the gas especially. But also the mineral line from this third. It's super exposed. I mean, there's absolutely nothing guarding it. You've got a little bit of brush down on the, uh, on the left side there. But the high ground really makes it dynamic you can hide banshees up there to take out the gas you can throw down some siege tanks to do the same thing high templars to storm you could send up a super early scouting drone from dark matter uh, just to see exactly what FV aroused is doing and what he's doing is working on that wall off but at the 10 supply mark I mean what what can you expect Marines are going to be made from the bar barracks. The uh, supply depot is going to be made. Maybe you'll get a gas first, but at the 10 supply mark, what are you... you I mean, it's not going to show you anything earth-shattering unless you show up and there is absolutely no barracks at that front door. That might t key you in on the fact that maybe Aroused is going for some sort of shenanigans, maybe throwing down that uh, barracks in a more open area specifically just to the north of this wall you can throw it on a barracks barracks and lift them off and land them against zerg it's not so successful against protoss it's more successful or against a terran that is one <laughs> racks expanding <sighs> or you could do this <laughs> dark matter throwing down a hatchery in the bottom left corner of fv aroused uh base unfortunately was scouted almost instantly by that scv i mean he knows it's there he knows what's going to be happening i expect we're going to see another barracks thrown down in short order instead he's going for the double gas no he's canceling it good call there convert those minerals into barracks convert those minerals into marines get out a uh, standing force because this represents 300 minerals even if he cancels it he's going to lose quite a lot of cash and uh, you can definitely excuse yourself the added uh cost of making those barracks because you're just going to use them later on no big deal it also looks like uh, aroused is going for that one barracks uh, expand he's got his scv position on the low ground he's got the uh, one racks on the high ground that's exactly what's happening he's building that command center very much confident in his ability to deal with this pressure coming out of the uh, hatchery which is just going to pop in a matter of seconds the spawning pool has just finished for dark matter he's just now getting up the uh, needed Vespine gas in order to start researching speed, but instead it looks like he's going to be accumulating that gas and producing quite a lot of roaches, so uh, we'll see how successful that is later on. It doesn't look like it's going to key in too much to the fact that this hatchery is going to go down be probably before that roach warren is done. The uh, bunker was built before the hatchery was done, meaning that it could be placed where there is now creep. Uh, which is phenomenal. It's allowing him to hit, especially on the south side of this hatchery. Very important to be able to hit there because that's where the queen will hide. And if she can throw down some spawn, uh, some creep tumors, it can be a big burr in your side if you uh, if you have to deal with that later on. So good placement of the uh, bunker there. Actually, some good control from the uh, marines, keeping that single marine alive with only five health. Not so good control on these marines, allowing them to die from the uh, brood lord, uh, broodlings. But the broodlings go down eventually. Oh, and I stand corrected. The uh, larva actually morphing into three roaches because the roach warren finished before the creep receded to the point where those larva died. They'd actually be dying right now if it wasn't for the uh, quick thinking of dark matter getting them out. However, FLV Arised has a significant bank and probably a significant economy lead. Yeah, 18 over 16, but remember he's got mules too, so uh, he, as long as he doesn't lose too many SCVs here, he shouldn't be in too bad of a shape. He'll eventually get the Marines out necessary to deal with these roaches. Uh, four, roach, uh, four SCVs have gone down from the roaches, though, and we can see that the resources last time is beginning to even up. Dark Matter is really working hard to make this cheese work. Uh, he, it's it's unorthodox to say the least to build a hatchery in the bottom left corner. It's also unorthodox to <laughs> follow it up with so many roaches, uh, but he's doing a pretty good job to keeping the pressure on it in continuing to move in those roaches. This is pretty much as all in as you can get. He's almost exclusively stopped producing drones. He's got so much money in the bank. You could throw down 
several expansions, but he's very, very supply blocked. If any one of these roaches go down, he'll significantly lose a, uh, a large portion of his army. But with three roaches on the low ground beginning to go to work on these SCVs, I think Aroused is in pretty bad shape right now. He only has a single Marine out on the field, uh, not much of an army, to say the least. It looks like he's going to tap out, uh, and I feel for him. This is frustrating to say the least. you got quite a lot of roaches to deal with. Roaches have so much uh, hit points. Um, they can absorb so much damage, and it, it was basically, it came down to the fact that this orbital command was built before these three barracks. If if these three barracks were built before the orbital, yeah, it would have been delayed a little bit, but with the uh, hatchery going up, you know that the Zerg isn't going for that second that, that natural expand, you know that they're not going for a heavy uh, economy play, they're going for a heavy aggression play, so you can afford to get up these three barracks first, and with that added defense, the added marines, a little bit early, you could have had six out before these roaches actually hit the ground, and uh, I think I think Arouse would have been in better shape to deal with it. Dark Matter, I have a feeling you've done this before. Uh, actually, I know for a fact you've done this before because I looked up your replays. Uh, when I got this replay and I found out that you've done it several times, specifically against uh, Protoss, which you lost to, which was kind of funny, and I might cast that too. Uh, if you guys have a game you want me to cast, you could PM me here or on Reddit. One way or another, I will see you guys later. I am Big and Scary.